Gone are the days of having to duplicate tasks or even worse, starting a redundant, repetitive task over and over again every single time. Task templates have made it possible to standardize all of your, your process and workflow, and I'm gonna show you how to use task templates to increase the speed and efficiency of the work that you are delivering. Welcome to Asana Solutions, the best place on YouTube for everything related to Asana, process improvement, and work management. I'm your host, Marquis, the founder of Ditto, where we work with teams to help them create clarity around the work done inside of their organizations. Now, task templates has been around for, you know, maybe a couple of months now, but if you haven't tapped into the power that is there, I would highly recommend that you start using it. If you are creating blogs, podcasts, videos, any kind of content that is repetitive, you're doing over and over again, you're working with a team and you have an established process, task templates can help you to speed up that workflow, create consistency across all of your work projects and keep all of your team on the same page when it comes to what you are responsible for delivering. So let's jump in here. I have up uh, an old webinar event um, template that we, we can use, but I'm just gonna start really simple and maybe we'll, we'll come back to that. So I'm just gonna start a blank project here in, in our demo space and we're gonna call this um, blog, I don't know, blog calendar. There we go. And I'm going to make a board because I really like boards. Um, and it gets us started with this here. I'm going to close this up for the meantime. So for our blog calendar, maybe the first one we can have, um, it would be ideas. Just like that, I'll create another one that is actually um, to do. That's not how you spell it. There we go. Great. So I'll move that section over here. So we have ideas to do in progress and completed. Okay. So we already know how to do this. We're, we're creating blogs. If we have a podcast, you're creating process. So we're just going to add some custom fields to this um, and some subtasks so that we can create our own task templates. Um, now I will point out that task templates can be um, created and added to a project template. So if we were to convert this one to a template, any task templates we create in this will be automatically populated the next time that we come in here. So let's pull in some custom fields really quickly. Um, what do we have here for status? Um, maybe we go, yeah, production status, um, and we can add another one. We can call it, do I have responsibility here? Yeah, we do. Um, and then maybe another one for priority. Let's pull that one in from the library as well. There we go. We'll make sure that they're all on. Maybe we'll throw on tags as well. Perfect. Everything's in there. So let's just say that this blog is the one that we want to create a template out of. So we can call it blog template task that's it okay and we know that for you know every one of our blogs we have to draft uh, post um, and then we have to uh, maybe do some research maybe research would come before conduct research right so we'll move that one up there and then we can maybe we are um, sourcing keywords and once that post is drafted um, source images, add, you know, alt tags, um, add image descriptions, you know, all of those kinds of things would happen. And so we can obviously create, you know, sections here, we can say, um, draft stage, and then we can create another one tab n, and we can call that edit stage just for an example so maybe the first step in the edit stage would be send to editor right and then um review and approve content right and so whatever that list of things would be we can have it there as well. If there's a standard, you know, image that we would use for our blog, we can obviously pull it in here. But we can, you know, do um, 
something like this as well. So I know we're in the ideas column where you know an idea for a blog would come in. Um, we can maybe call that planning. It's in the planning stage at that point, or maybe it's in the backlog stage. Who's responsible for it? Um, let's see, maybe a copywriter's responsible for it. And all of our blogs, because we are a blog um, intensive agency, they're all high priority. And then we can have our templates. So, um, blog draft we can call that we can call this sources um, and then we can call this theme maybe All right so we have our our theme maybe is at the top and then we would add a bullet point there potentially however you need to set this up for yourself right um, I like to use some of the the rich text editor here there we go. So let's just say that this is our, our, our blog template, right? This is gonna be the same thing we use every single time. What you would wanna do next, simply click up in these three dots right here. You're gonna go right down to convert task to template. That is it. Asana is gonna do its thing over here in the side and it's running and then it's gonna say, great. The original task is completed and as you can see, it says it's converted to template. All right, so now, we can reopen it as a task or we can just go into our column, click add task, let's do it in the ideas, and there it is right there. We click on it, it's loaded up, and everything that we had in this first section is going to populate in this task. As you can see, it automatically adds it to backlog, it's assigned to the copywriter, right? There are eight subtasks, and there's our, our rough theme for us to start drafting our blog post. Now, if you did want to edit your task, um, you can come over to customize and similar to how we would add rules or apps here, you can simply come to this task templates, click on the little um, pen sign and we can make changes. We can, you know, add an S, we can change it from a task to an approval at this stage. If we wanted to change up our workflow, we can add it as a milestone, right? We can do so many things, click done, and that is completed. And what's really nice about having these task templates is that we no longer have to have a task sitting in our projects that's taking up space, that's um, adding clutter. We can actually delete these. We can now delete this task, delete that task, right? and our task template still sits there. So we can come back, we can do that right there, and as promised, let's actually fire that up right now. I'm gonna open up a new template, and we're gonna call it blog calendar, um, duplicate, there it is, and it is firing up. Here we go, there's our duplicate, there's our task, because it. Um, pre-populated what we had before but this is the project we're working in now and as you can see we're gonna click on create task it's still working and let it do its thing there we go we're gonna click on task and there is that new task in our new project template for everyone to use now I'll say this this is the only blind spot um, that, that we have right now or the only uh, you know, thing that I think Asana hasn't really thought through just yet is having these task templates transfer across different projects. So this one right here, it's specific to this. There is no task template library yet. So if we did go into webinar test, for example, right, I'm gonna go to my board and we're gonna go to customize for a minute here. Right, there, there are no task templates here. We can't see the one we just created. We have to go add template and create a brand new one. And so obviously this is another way you can do this without actually creating the task, but there's no universal um, spot where we can have all of those tasks. They are specific right now to those projects. And so if you can figure out a workaround or if you wanna copy these to all your popular um, projects and templates, Again, the beauty thing about templates is that you can create all, all these templates once with all the things you need in them and then you never have to think about it again. So that is task templates. Hope you found this helpful. Would love to know how you are using task templates in your organization and how you are speeding up work. And as always, if you found this beneficial, helpful, insightful, please share this video with a friend, colleague, neighbor, whoever, so we can reach more people just like you. If you haven't already, like, subscribe, share. If you wanna get notifications, hit the bell right, right down there. 
um, so that you can stay on top of all things Asana, process improvement, and work management. Thanks for listening and watching, and we will talk to you next time. Bye for now.